Investigative reports continues. Today, we'll be exposing Warrior Custom Golf. We're here in Irvine. The company's headquarters is right here. Let's go. I'm with Investigative Reports. You just let me in. There you go. <laughs> here they are. Oh, no. There's nothing wrong with them. I can't expose these guys. There's nothing wrong with them. Investigative Reports is off the air. It's one of the most cutting edge and successful businesses in the golf industry. And what's more, it's proven its effectiveness time and time again. It's Warrior Custom Golf. Hi, and welcome inside Warrior's headquarters. I'm Troy Kinsey. Well, just seven years after it started as an offshoot of the golf collectibles business, this company's come full circle. It's now a golf club behemoth. What makes its club work is its effectiveness on the golf course with average golfers. Over the next half hour, we'll go behind the scenes here at Warrior from its humble beginnings to now. It's become a staple on the golf courses of America. It's Warrior Custom Golf. The company that's pioneered fit-to-order clubs has also revolutionized the game itself. But before the drivers, the irons, the wedges, and the bags, there was only a vision. Brendan Flaherty was an investment banker turned sports collectibles guru in the early 90s. He was also a weekend warrior, a bogey golfer who wanted to play better but couldn't. His clubs wouldn't let him. I always believed that... Uh, that Instead of making, uh, trying, to, trying to make your golf game fit your golf club, make the golf club fit your golf game. Most people are not professional golfers and cannot afford to practice 50 to 70 hours a week. So you, it's, a, it's obviously substantially easier to not only play a better game, but to enjoy the game a lot more if you've got equipment that fits your particular style of play. It wasn't long before the boy from Waterbury, Connecticut was selling custom-built golf clubs nationwide. Warriors grown at a fast clip and upwards of 15% a year. And here at its Irvine, California headquarters, it makes, packs, and ships an average of 500 club sets every single day. It's hard to believe just a few simple measurements could spell the difference between a failed game and success so great it inspires jealousy. This company's not targeting players like Tiger Woods or Phil Mickelson. Its model customer is the average golfer. People go out there to play golf to have a good time and to enjoy it, not to struggle with, with some club that they paid 500 bucks for because uh, some top pro on the tour is playing it, so they pay 500 bucks. Is he playing it? Well, I got news for him. Uh, that, he may be able to play that club, but, you know, I can't play it, and most people out there can't play it. So why not get a club that you can play well with instead of the one that uh, some top pro plays well with? Warrior's so sure its clubs work, it offers a money-back guarantee. But the company boasts one of the lowest return rates in the industry. Most golfers get hooked on Warrior's free wedge set offer. Three wedges, custom-built, absolutely free. And more often than not, those golfers come back for more. We back up our product with the lifetime war um, guarantee and the um, one-year free adjustments and everything. My dad, for instance, just got a bag and some wedges. He's been to Minnesota, Georgia, and he's just been telling everybody about these wedges only. So just imagine if he was to get like irons or woods and, you know, not dealing with me directly, not even his daughter, just someone else in customer service or one of the sales reps. It's just an awesome place. And Flaherty likes to say it's his people who make the difference. Over 150 men and women work for Warrior. Together, they push their product, answer questions, and in some cases, troubleshoot. Customer service is probably the key to the business. You know, without good customer service, people wouldn't want to keep coming back. People love the club because it is, it's an amazing club. It changes people's games all the time. It may be the most successful and productive business in the golf industry, but the Warrior crew is still just as close-knit as it was seven years ago. In so many ways, this really is a family operation, right down to the 91-year-old receptionist. Or a custom golf may help you. Someone like yourself was in here, and they saw a lot of people running around, and, and they asked her, they asked, uh, asked her, how many people work here? And my mom said, uh, oh, about half. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you this, there's no way uh, this could be possible without her, I can tell you. I uh, still can't keep, she's 91 years old, I still can't keep up with her. God willing, as long as he'll keep me here and my son thinks I can <laughs> handle a job, I'll be here. But the real secret to Warrior's success over the years has been its custom craftsmanship. Now, normally you can get fitted for a set of golf clubs online on Warrior's website, but today 
I decided to come down here to Irvine to Warrior Headquarters to find out just what goes into it. Hey, Troy. Hey, Been Tom. waiting for Good you. Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. And, of course, you are operations director here at Correct. Warrior. Correct. And we had our appointment for today. You know, I, I, I've been talking about getting fitted for clubs for the longest time. And I wanted to do it online, but I figured, you know, why not come down to Warrior to find out what exactly goes into the fitting process. Glad you made it. So. Glad you made it. You know, you came at a perfect time today. I've got uh, a fitting in progress. Let's go right in here. Let's check it out. Hey, Brendan. How are you doing, man? Brendan Flaherty, president of Warrior Custom Golf here. This is Troy. Hey, Brendan. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. And this is your uh, digs. Yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, I was just in here with Wayne, who does a lot of the, uh, the custom fitting when uh, people come in. Hmm. And uh, I dragged Ron Brown in here. We're out of the charity <laughs> golf Hey, Ron. Man. Good to meet hey, you, man. Hey, Ron. David Lane. <laughs> hey, David. Good right. to meet you, man. Good to meet you, man. Wow. We're, we're what an at, occasion. We're out at a uh, charity <laughs> golf tournament a couple weeks ago, and uh, Ron bought a couple of my clubs. He loved him so much, he said he wanted to buy a set now that he played him already. I get to charge him double. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are here not just to meet with Brendan, but I mean, you're here to get fitted too. We got Jackie Slater Golf Tournament coming up real soon. Wow. Real big event. I love Actually, to do it's it. It's a golf experience. Yeah. You know, and War is one of our sponsors for that one, so. Wow, you're all over town, Brendan. Yeah. You know? Where are you? Where aren't you, Brendan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, right now, not on the golf course, because I'm taking Ron's money now. And I'm yeah. take <laughs> hey, but Wayne here's going to yeah. take care of you. Seriously, okay. Ron, he will take mm -hmm. care of you. This guy is top of the line, man. Yeah. I do it myself, except for yeah. I don't want to wreck the clubs on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, good meeting you, Brendan. <laughs> right. And so, now, Wayne, we have this big ruler right here. It doesn't sure. look like the kind of ruler you pick up in the Home Depot or, uh, you know, a craft store or anything I like that. I think not. No, it's just uh, I um, get the length of their wrist to the floor. It gives me a good idea of the length of the shaft. Okay. And then I also take the, uh, the length of his hand. It gives me a good idea of how many uh, wraps I would put under a grip so I could fit his hand properly. And so you've got all these, uh, these numbers plugged in here. Okay. And you go in back, right? I mean, that's your next step, to go in back and actually design the club or, or pick out no, the right size. I've for got quite a bit more to do. Oh, with really? Them, so do we really? Uh, yep. Um, First of all, I, I, I get a few of the other measurements. Obviously, you're, you're right-handed. Yes, sir. Uh, how tall are you? 5'11 uh, and a half. I'm actually six feet, man. Yeah. Right-handed? Yes. Your ball flight, generally, you uh, hit it high, low, or medium? Uh, medium. 150-yard yeah. club? Seven. Seven. So that's pretty much it, guys. And um, like I said, we'll, and then we can uh, critique as we go along, OK? That's the way. See you on the ground. Well, I mean, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. And we'll see you guys on the All course right. when you get your clubs. Right. Thanks for coming by, guys. Right. Good seeing you guys. Yeah. All right, take it and easy. Tom, the tour continues. Okay. We're not done yet, are okay. we? We're not done. We've got a building to see here. That's it. Hey, thank you, Wayne. You're we appreciate it. Bye-bye. Thanks for your time, Wayne. Tom. Well, Tom, I'll tell you, this building is huge. It's kind of a maze, isn't it? And you've been here for eight years, is that right? Yes. Yeah, and this, of course, this is sort of like the central nervous system of Warrior because you have, this is where all the orders come in. Correct. All of the uh, internet orders and everything is processed, everything right through the floor here. They can talk to a live agent yeah. and get, uh, go through the full fitting sheet and get all of the yeah. specifications and the measurements, and then we get them downstairs and get them built. And you have how many uh, employees, how many agents up here, would you say? Um, at the Irvine location, we've got uh, about 160 different people in here. And we've also got a sales office in Syracuse, New York, with, oh, do you uh, really? with about 30 people staffed wow. out there. So. Why, why Syracuse? Uh, we wanted to see if we could sell golf clubs there in the winter time. <laughs> Interesting. And, yeah. and the business does pretty well back there. Yeah, it's doing really good. Yeah. And this is, I would assume this would be a busy time of year up here because you have the yes. start of the golf season. You know, it's springtime. It's beginning to get warm again. How many orders do you get, say, this time of the year as compared to, I don't know, December, November? November, December. Um, we ship out in the busy times, usually about 500 sets a day. Wow. We have different shipments going out the back door, and wow. usually numbers around 500. In the wintertime, it's uh, usually no less than 300 sets yeah. a day, or 300 shipments a day. So wow. a lot of people out there buying the Warrior Clubs, they love them. And so when they take the order, what do they do? They do exactly what Wayne did downstairs, only exactly. they can't measure, so they actually tell the customer to... What, just, just generally measure what they have going on? Right, and what they would do is if, uh, if the customer is home with somebody, mm -hmm. then, or at their business for that matter, with somebody, we can help them by just getting a tape measure and going over mm -hmm. the different measurements. Okay, measure from the uh, wrist to the middle fingertip, measure from that fold of the skin down to the floor. We can have that arranged through a person that's at that person's yeah. residence. Interesting. Um, it's kind of funny if they're alone, uh, we tell them, you know, stand up against the wall and draw a little pencil mark on the wall and, you yeah. know, hope no one's watching it because they're going to think you're out of your mind. <laughs> and then but they you just measure what? from the dot And it down. pays off on the course, doesn't it? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, Tom, here we are uh, downstairs at customer service, and you know, I mentioned a couple minutes ago that they can't be all that busy down here because you don't hear a lot of people with complaints about their clubs, but you, 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 you don't get all complaints, do you? No. I'm, I'm selling the guy right now. We have a sale over here in the corner. <laughs> and so, 
But obviously, these guys are kept pretty busy. Yes, they are. Yeah. Uh, we do, have, uh, as Brennan probably told you, we do lifetime adjustments on all of our stuff. So we want our golfers to be happy. And if they have a club out there they're not happy with, we want to fix that and make them out there getting it down the fairways. Yeah. And of course, you have that guarantee, and we'll we'll talk about the guarantee later. We've talked about it before as well. Uh, if someone's not happy with their clubs for whatever reason, they would call here. Is that right? Correct. And what what happens at that point? Um, they would call in and talk with one of the uh, one of the agents, and we would try to make them happy. If we mm -hmm. can't make them happy, we don't want someone to be sitting out there on a club of ours and not swinging it. So yeah. we'll give them their money back. They send the club back. We give them a refund. Come on in, Troy. So this is it, and I, I've seen this before, but I, I'm, I'm still amazed every single time I walk through that door at how much action you have going on here. It is. This is an amazing uh, department. Of course, everything here is where uh, all the clubs are assembled at, all of the measurements. We've already been through that, how the measurements were taken. This is where all of the components are actually put together, and it uh, kind of weaves through this room like a snake. It starts on the far side of the wall that we're not at right now. The clubs uh, start back in the cutting room. And Can we go back there? Can sure. I, come on Let's back. go take a look. This is just the kind of saw you can pick up in the Home Depot, only uh, I'm sure most guys who pick up this kind of saw in the Home Depot aren't making golf clubs, no, right? they're not making golf clubs. Um, it comes with a special blade that we have to purchase, and this is a special table that all the shafts are laid out on. Wow. And uh, after the shafts are laid out on there, these bars come up, lock the shafts down, they pull it down, they make one cut on all the shafts. All in Interesting. Little swoop. And you only have one cutter? Uh, no, we've got several. Cutters. Oh, you have several, okay. Yes. I see. So, and, and you rotate them in and out of operation whenever it suits you. Interesting. Right. Well, see, okay, so we have the cut made, right? right. And then we go back out into the warehouse, right. and uh, we'll see what goes on out there. Okay, let's go to the warehouse. From the cutting room out to the warehouse floor, Tom, and here we have the uh, cut shafts, which we just cut. <coughs> we just cut them. Uh, and, of course, we have the hedge right here for the shafts as Correct. well. Correct, correct. I can't assume it's as easy as just slipping this guy onto the shaft. No, there's actually a ferrule that goes on there. It's, uh, it's glued with some epoxy that's... Uh, well tested. We obviously obviously don't want the clubs flying off of, or the heads flying off of the club. So the epoxy uh, is given a, a 72 hour dry time, hmm. and uh, the only thing that's left from here really is putting the grip on. Hmm. After the grips go on, uh, then the drying time. That's when the drying time actually starts. As you can see, as we, if we pan out over things here, uh, there's several benches that are loaded with clubs that are at different stages. Yeah. Uh, the ones that are over here on the most immediate bench in front of us, as you can see, they all have the heads on, but not the grips. Mm -hmm. So those are actually in the drying process right now of the heads drying to the shafts. I um, see. After that, the grips would be put on, and then, like I said, they would make their way over to uh, quality control, where everything's given its one final yeah. inspection to make sure that what that customer ordered is what that customer is getting, and then they're shipped. So when you say it takes two weeks from order to delivery, I mean, you're talking about some, some time-intensive time assembly processes, exactly. because you come in here, 72 hours for the drying, I mean, you're, you're spending a good week actually physically putting everything together. Correct. Correct. Another part of it that we didn't didn't talk about and we haven't shown you yet is the uh, customization. And actually on the bottom of the fairway woods that we offer our customers, we let the customer choose. They can use a nickname, their real name, we don't care what they put on there. But we offer them this customization and it goes on the bottom of all the fairway woods. Wow. So customers love that because they get it. Oh my gosh, it has my name on the yeah. side of the club. Yeah, that's terrific. I don't know of any other company that does that. So uh, wow. customers do love that. That's great. So I could, so now if I wanted to, I could... Uh, but maybe Troy uh, Pro Kinsey, right? Sure, sure. Because I am a pro. You know I am. Well, you're truthful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an ego. <laughs> what set Warrior apart from all the rest? I mean, you've got a million different golf club manufacturers out there. Why Warrior? The customization. The customization and the price. You know, you can go get a custom club other places, but you're going to pay a lot more for it that you're paying for here. Uh, people love our product, and they love our price as well. Yeah. We so if we can offer quality product at a quality price, that that's a win-win situation for the customer. So and from here, of course, the clubs are actually packed, and they go off. And you know, let's take a look at the truck sure. real fast. Sure. You told me about the truck, and you apparently FedEx will send one here. Yeah, they actually, every day or every week. Is that they, right? They drop off a fresh trailer every day for us, a fresh empty trailer. And, and you pack uh, them in these boxes right here. You pack them in something similar to this, correct? Uh, the last stage to this, there may be some outside, is that the guys actually take a shrink wrap and shrink wrap this whole box. Wow. And uh, this is, like I said, not one shipment for the whole day, but there were probably two or three of these type of pallets hmm. that were loaded up today. And you wheel these guys out here. And, of course, here at the end of the alleyway, right behind Warrior, is this gargantuan-sized 
FedEx ground shipping container. Correct. And so you load this baby up every single day, is that right? Yes. And they come late in the afternoon or early they, in the they morning? They come late, late at night and, uh, and pick that trailer up and take it away and get the club shipped out to where they need to go. And they drop off a new trailer and empty one at the same time. So we're ready to roll for the next day. And you know it's been a long day of work because your employees here uh, not only play basketball, but they play volleyball during lunch as yes, well. Yes, volleyball so. is a huge lunchtime sport here. Uh, I'll tell you what my favorite sport is, Tom. It's golf. And Good. we're headed out to the course. Right so place. we're going to meet up with our boys we met earlier, Ron, okay. and all the boys, and to see how they're doing. Perfect. I actually want to try out these clubs, too, so I can't wait. Good. Can't wait to see you on the course tomorrow. Let's go. All right. Golfers, listen up. You're pre-qualified to receive a set of Warrior Golf Clubs custom-built for you, risk-free. They're built by Warrior, the world's leading custom club builder, combining old-world craftsmanship and state-of-the-art technology. Call 1-800-600-5113. This is a limited-time offer, and it's available only from Warrior Custom Golf. Call today for details and start experiencing the difference these clubs will have on your game. It's a special offer, and it's reserved just for you. Warrior's fairway woods are your new weapon of choice, from the tee or anywhere on the fairway. We think you'll agree Warrior's new TCP irons are the easiest irons you'll ever hit. Absolutely risk-free. Call now and receive Warrior's Custom Stand Golf Bag. It's our gift to you when you try our clubs. Call 1-800-600-5113. Warrior Custom Golf. Experience the difference a great set of clubs can make on your game. Call 1-800-600-5113. 1-800-600-5113. Call now. Well, Tom, after an action-packed day at Warrior, we're here on the golf course for an action-packed day out here at Eagle Glen in Corona. And um, we have Tom Borbel with us today. And, Tom, you know, it's interesting. I was looking at uh, the other Tom shirt over here, mm -hmm. and I, I can't get over the fact Warrior has, like, 15 different shirt styles. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, Got to make them to satisfy all golf customers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Different styles, different shirt styles as well. Anyway, Tom, uh, thanks for having us out here. It's no, great to be glad, here. I'm glad to have Warrior Golf out. You know, I just love to have you guys on. It's uh, picked a gorgeous day. Yeah. And, you know, some folks would say, well, Eagle Glen, it's, it's, it's a heck of a drive. Really, it's only 25 minutes from Orange County and a lot of other places uh, in the Southland. Uh, talk a bit about the course, the layout, how long it's been here, and uh, why, why golfers like it so much. It's been open uh, about five years now. Nestled up at Cleveland National Forest. Two separate nines. Just turned out to be a great facility. Front nine uh, intertwines throughout the hillside. Does it left and right on every hole. Doesn't play quite as long, but you definitely keep it in play. Back nine flattens out and opens up a little bit. And uh, you can tack it to a little bit more. Interesting. And you know, right. uh, I make no secret of the fact that I'm a hack golfer. I'm just, I'm horrible. Any secrets? Keep it in play off the tee. That's the main thing. <laughs> Air Airborne and forward is a good thing, too. <laughs> I'll try my best, guys. That doesn't give me much to go on, but I'll try my best. Anyway, Tom, thanks for having us out. We can't wait to play. Thank you very much, Tom. And Tom? Enjoy. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Nice shot. Tom, that just feels good. Great man. shot. That looked good. That looked good. Wow. This is incredible. And this is what driver here? Uh, this is a 385cc uh, driver. Wayne, why don't yeah. you tell us about that one? This is a fantastic driver, 385, uh, two-piece beta titanium. Uh, ball comes off the head, just absolutely launches it. Uh, World-class Harrison shafts we use. Um, it's just a, it's a weapon, actually. Yeah. And, you know, as big as the 385 is, I hear you've got something even bigger. 450. Wow. And, and Tom, you said it resembles what? Uh, a condo on the end of a stick. <laughs> Something like that, but it doesn't feel like it, it when you're swinging it. it. Right. No, it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, I told him if he can't uh, get a hold of the ball with a 450cc head, then he shouldn't be swinging a club. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when you're talking about beta, beta titanium, what goes into the construction? Well, the beta just means that it was uh, baked twice yeah. um, versus just the titanium. So it's just a little harder. They can make the walls a little thinner, make the head bigger, uh, and still get the explosion. And it is uh, at the maximum COR. Uh, by regulation, so enjoy. And because all the clubs you make are custom, I mean, I would assume you have several different versions, several different models that you can mm -hmm. you can uh, give to people based on their sp specifications. And sure, whatnot. absolutely. Has a lot to do with the shaft, or if they don't like the big head, we've got a 260 cc, more of the traditional size, mm -hmm. um, and as you said, all the way up to the 450. So, right, we can make it. Well, we saw you yesterday, Wayne, fitting a couple of uh, NFL greats mm -hmm. uh, in your office. And the NFL greats, or at least one of them, uh, is here today. He has his clubs. Has he tried them out yet? Do you know? Yes, he has. Wow. wow. Great wow. shot, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Got a hold of that one. <laughs> Very nice, man. You know, I'd almost think that uh, this club was custom-built just for you. Wow. That's pretty That's good what game. I guess. Uh, 
pretty good guess. No, these yeah. clubs actually are custom built, actually. Yeah. It's a great fit, too. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's funny because you said, you know, I want to try this shot out before we actually roll tape on the camera here. Uh, just make sure this, this club actually does work. It worked, didn't it? On, it on that very first shot you took. Absolutely. You know, and it's incredible, too, because my game is really just an average game, really, or maybe below. I don't know a whole lot about golf, but, you know, we have a lot of golf tournaments. We do a lot of stuff for charity. Uh, Warriors Golf supports us in a lot of our golf tournaments. But this particular club, custom made, makes a difference. And Wayne, of course, you fitted Ron yesterday, and you, you plugged in all those specifications, and it really does pay off in the long run. You saw it. It was excellent. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. So you would think I played a lot of golf, right? Uh huh. Just because of that shot? Uh huh. But that's good. That's what you're supposed <laughs> to do. Well, I'll tell you what, I took my swing a while back. I told you, I haven't played in two years. Two years, and the shot looked good. I mean, it, it was a great shot. That's why we have to follow you in the next two years. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And, uh, of course, Tom, you're, you're watching this guy. You're watching the evolution of Ron. He came in. He had played with normal clubs. And, uh, I mean, you know, where do you see Ron in two years? I see him on the tour taking on Tiger or something. Yeah, okay. I thought he was just an excellent football player yeah. with a swing like that. Yeah. And this is this is what uh, style driver here? Uh, that's a 385 Beta Titanium. The same one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, the Harrison long drive shaft. Excellent length for him. Good kick point. Uh, flex. Loft. Launch angle like you yeah. saw. Perfect. And you know, I haven't seen the condo, the condo as of yet, but I mean, this thing must be massive. It's uh, 450 cc, yes. Yeah. yeah, and that's legal on the golf course? Yes, it is. And do you have to have a permit issued by the state or anything like that? We recommend only using it on a par five. I see, oh, interesting, very nice. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, guys, uh, you have a full day of golf, golf ahead of you. You're going out on the course right now. Uh, we're going to join them later on, Tom, but okay. before we do, we have one more guy to talk with. That's uh, Alex. He's general manager over at Warrior. He's running for us, so uh, let's go. Great. All right. Hey, Alex. Hey, Alex. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good. Tom? Troy, good to see you good again. To see you, man. We just came from the driving range where uh, I hit the Warrior Club for the very first time. And uh, I make no secret of the fact that I'm a hack. You know, it's been two years since I played last. I'm I, sure you both believe that. No, I, we I don't. don't. <laughs> well, it has been. It has been. I'm telling you right now. Uh, but the first shot I took was right down the middle. It was. It, I thought it was pretty good. It was a great shot. Great and, shot. And Ron Brown was there as well. Of course, he just got fitted for his game right. yesterday. Right. He did marvelous on the first shot. Um, and, and, you know, Alex, I think we know you more or less as the Zen master over at Warrior because you know what goes into mental preparation before a golfer mm -hmm. goes out on the course. I mean, how he psychs himself up. Um, aside from just, you know, having Warrior clubs, uh, what, what makes a good player? I mean, what, what would be the best strategy for, say, an amateur or rookie like me? Well, uh, first, obviously, is to get your clubs fitted properly. And, and it's a two-part process. Uh, fitted clubs is going to instill confidence. That's where I'm going with this. The confidence level you feel when you stand over the golf ball is everything to, your, to what happens after that, to the swing and the impact point. Uh, fitting the clubs, warrior, that's, that's our nature. The second half of that equation is the confidence I just mentioned earlier, which is instilled immediately upon striking the ball with the fitted club. It works. It's a perfect system. You know, I'll tell you my biggest problem on the golf course is I, I try really hard not to kill the ball on subsequent swings after, say, my first few. But as the day goes on, it, it's difficult not to try to kill that ball. I mean, what, what, what about these clubs, these warrior clubs, do you think can help me um, in my approach? Well, the clubs themselves, I'm not so sure, Troy. But uh, in actuality, um, once again, back to the confidence of, of what it instills in you. Like you said, you're going to strike the ball smooth and slow because you're not sure of what's going to happen. Uh, as that confidence builds, you want to swing harder. You're trying to get a little bit more, a little more of this, a little more distance. Uh, the clubs being custom built to you and custom fitted to you are almost going to prevent that from happening to some degree. Not all the way, but to some degree, whereas you know what's going to happen each and every time, you will stick with it. It's almost a body function you can't really control. Yeah. Uh, until you're standing over that 600-yard par 5 and you're trying to get there in one, other than that, you're pretty good. Other so, than that, you're pretty good. So custom built equals confidence. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And you must be a pretty confident guy because, you know, you live here on the golf course at Eagle Glen. Do you go out a lot? Uh, not as much as I'd like to, but, uh, yeah, I get out once or twice a week, uh, sure. Well, I'll tell you what, if I get any better than I am right now, you're going to have to join me because, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm sure, come on, you're a warrior executive, Alex. I'm, I'm sure you golf better than I do. You know you Well, do. you know, Troy, we can find out a little side wager and we'll both know for sure. How's that okay. sound? Sounds good to me. Sounds okay. good to me. But in the meantime, I think it's uh, time to go out uh, onto the course, Tom. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, 
Tom, I'll tell you, this really is the life, man. I had a great day on the course today, and I probably shot the best game I've ever shot. You know what? I'm right there with you, man. Right there with so you. So what was your score? It, it was so low that I didn't even keep track of it. It was that good. You know what I shot? What'd you shoot? Perfect 18. Oh, nice. How often does that happen? Good job, man. Good job. <laughs> anyway, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Hey, what's up, David? David. David Lang, folks. How was your game? David Lang. How was your game, man? Good. good. You know what? My game is always good. You know, I'm a, I'm a, uh, uh, an athlete. You know, so I'm gonna always take, um, take challenges on. So it, it turns out to be awesome. So I'm. This is a beautiful thing, man. I'm just awesome to be a part of this um, Warrior Custom um, Clubs, man. This is this is what it's about. The question is, man, did you shoot a perfect 18 like myself? Oh, man, it's kind of hot. Or, or, or do you even care? You don't even care what you shot, right? You know what? It's all about it just, having fun. It felt fun. good, right? You know, it's all about having fun and and being a part of this this crew right here. And, and that's what it's about, just enjoying yourself, you know. And, you know, as you were swinging these drivers, and, you know, I've swung many a driver in my day, but it just, and, and you know, even if my aim was off, which is all me, I mean, that's not, it's no fault of the clubs or anything <laughs> like that. It just felt incredibly natural. You know, these clubs, to me, I'm, I'm not a um, spectacular golfer, but I'm, a, I'm an athlete, so I'm going to know how to hit. And these clubs just made me feel very, very comfortable in the swings and the, the approach and everything so i just got a lot of confidence in these clubs good yeah. good exactly. you look like it you look yeah. like it man yeah, you're hitting good today definitely definitely and guys you know it, like i say it's a beautiful day out here in southern california i don't know what else there is to do i mean is there anything else to do i mean can we play tackle football with some of these girls y'all got over there in that uh, uh <laughs> you know what? <laughs> After a game of golf man i'm drained i don't think i can do it you know what i i think that uh this is it. This, this is what is we're going to do. This, this is, is it. This is the life. This uh, is it. Yeah. This is it. Listen up. You're pre-qualified to receive a set of Warrior Golf Clubs custom-built for you, risk-free. They're built by Warrior, the world's leading custom club builder, combining old-world craftsmanship and state-of-the-art technology. Call 1-800-600-5113. This is a limited-time offer, and it's available only from Warrior Custom Golf. Call today for details and start experiencing the difference these clubs will have on your game. It's a special offer, and it's reserved just for you. Warriors Fairway Woods are your new weapon of choice from the tee or anywhere on the fairway. We think you'll agree Warriors' new TCP irons are the easiest irons you'll ever hit. Absolutely risk-free. Call now and receive Warriors Custom Stand Golf Bag. It's our gift to you when you try our clubs. Call 1-800-600-5113. Warrior Custom Golf. Experience the difference a great set of clubs can make on your game. Call 1-800-600-5113. 1-800-600-5113. Call now.